you know, I kind of dabbled in building skateboard ramps, things like that, you know, basic construction. So this is a, a piece I actually just finished up uh, yesterday. It is a uh, red oak uh, coffee table with uh, Wenge. Aaron Gibbons is living the dream. And I, and I kind of identify myself as an artist first and a craftsman second. It kind of was a hobby, something I did on the weekends and the evenings. And it became a, a point where I didn't have time to go to my day job anymore. In his day job, he was an elementary art teacher, and he loved it. When I taught, I had the best job in the school. The kids loved to come to art class. But I want to show you these maple slabs. But his lifelong love of art is now found in wood. So pretty much as soon as I got into woodworking, I got into salvaging wood. Let's flip this one over because it has some of the coolest grain. I just... That artist's eye takes him out constantly hunting for wood. By going out and salvaging that piece of wood, going out and hand selecting that material, it really does make it one of a kind. You want to get that perfect kind of grain continuity. The more flaws and imperfections, the more beauty to be found. And this was a, a tree from Ardmore neighborhood in Winston. And this walnut, it looks kind of dingy. It's as if the wood comes alive. I and mean, that's the best part of it right there is that, that compression figure. Creating everything from tables to furniture, even art pieces. By wetting the grain, usually you'll be able to see. I knew I wanted to be an artist, probably as long as I can remember. His love for the craft started young, but his love of the art is rooted in his family. My grandfather was a large influence on me as a kid. One of my most distinct memories, that he would be on the phone and at the same time, he'd be drawing. This is locally salvaged ambrosia maple. And as they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. These are caused by a worm that, that travels through the tree when it's alive. And Woodworking with one of Roy's folks. This came from uh, Westfield, actually. That's beautiful. Chad Tucker, Foxy News. Very unique piece there.